Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations. This problem is from Russia. If you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. If you don't like the video, let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate all kinds of feedback. And let's get started. Now, we do have a system of equations with three variables, and we have three equations, which is good news. And we kind of see some pattern here. Okay, sometimes we do um, add the equations, we do multiply the equations, we do subtract, so on and so forth. And those are common methods. But in this problem, we're going to be handling it a little differently, so stay tuned. So what I'd like to do first is I am going to subtract the first two equations here. So first and second one. Okay, and you'll see why in a little bit I do that, and I'll show you. Okay x plus y cubed minus y plus z cubed is equal to z minus x. You probably noticed that if you subtract these, you're going to get a pattern or which we can call difference of two cubes and the y is going to cancel out, so on and so forth. So we're going to get something nice. But I don't want to expand this. I want to use the formula of difference of two cubes. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's more fun that way, and I believe it's easier. So what I'd like to do is then use the formula. So it's going to look like a cubed minus b cubed is going to look like a minus b, right? First term is a minus b. And then I'm going to multiply this by the second factor, which is a squared. Notice that I'm using substitution here, plus a b, which is x plus y times y plus z plus b squared, which is y plus c quantity squared. Obviously, this expression takes up a lot of space, so we're not able to fit the second one, but that's okay. At the end, when we simplify this expression, we're going to set it equal to z minus x. Here, notice that the y is going to cancel out, right? Okay, so y cancels out. We end up with x minus z. Now, in order to make this easier, let me go ahead and expand this here. This is going to be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This is going to be xy plus xz plus y squared plus yz. And this is going to be y squared plus 2yz plus z squared. So then I can just go ahead and add like terms. Well, I only have the x squared one, so this is going to be x squared. And then I have the y squared one, two, and three times, so that's going to be 3y squared. And then I have z squared only once. Again, there's a reason for this. And then I have the uh, product. So I have the 2xy plus the xy, which makes 3xy. And then I have the xz, which is once again. So that's just xz. And then I have the yz plus 2yz, which is 3yz. And of course, this is equal to z minus x. Now, one of the things I can do is I can just go ahead and add the opposite of z minus x to both sides, which is x minus z, right? So if you add x minus z to both sides, then you should be getting something like this, x minus z multiply by x squared plus 3y squared plus z squared plus 3xy plus xz plus 3yz. Now when you add the x plus x minus z to both sides, you're going to get something like this. And uh, I could probably show that first and then set it equal to zero. Now, x minus z is a common factor. We can just go ahead and factor it out. And when we do, we should be getting one of the solutions. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get from the other factor. x squared plus 3y squared plus z squared plus 3xy plus xz plus 3yz plus one. And the whole thing is equal to zero. Now, there's something interesting about the second factor. First of all, let me tell you something. This expression is not factorable. Why? Because a squared plus ab plus b squared is never factorable in the real world, at least, right? Now, why is that not factorable? And it's not the only thing that we need to know about it. There is more to it. Not only is it factorable, there is also more. So let's go ahead and exp uh, explain that a little bit. So the second expression comes from basically, um, you know, the product a squared plus ab plus b squared, right? Where I called x plus y set equal to a, so on and so forth. So, and then we're adding one to it, right? So we want this expression to be zero. 
Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Now, I can write this expression as a squared plus ab plus b squared over 4 plus 3b squared over 4 plus 1. And how did I do that? I basically complete the square here. This is equal to a plus b over 2 quantity squared plus 3b squared over 4 plus 1. Obviously, this is a non-negative expression. This is a non-negative expression, and this is 1. So the sum can never equal zero. It's impossible, right? In the real world, at least. So there's no solutions from there. Again, I'm talking about the real solutions. We don't get anything from there. So the, all, the only solutions are going to be coming from the first factor then. And what are they? Well, the solutions are basically going to be coming from x minus c equals to zero. And what is that supposed to mean? It just means that x is equal to z. But notice that we only use the first two equations and we got x minus x equals z. So if you go ahead and consider my original expression, which is x plus y cubed is equal to z, y plus z cubed is equal to x, and z plus x cubed is equal to y. Now, in this original expression, by using the first two, by using the first two, I was able to get x equals z. What would happen if I use the second and third equation? Then I would be getting x equals y. If I use the first and third one, I would get z equals y, which means that all these quantities are actually equal, right? x equals y equals z is basically the consequence. But what is that supposed to mean? Let's set it equal to k and see what happens. So k is just going to represent any of these variables, and they're all equal anyways, right? They have to be equal. There's no other way because the second factor did not give us any meaningful solutions. Okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to go ahead and substitute k into my system and see what happens. And I don't have to do it for all three equations because k represents all variables and here all equations, so I can just get away with one equation. Let's go ahead and use the first one. Uh, x replaced with k and y replaced with k. That is cubed. That's equal to k. Let's see what happens from here. We get 2k quantity cubed is equal to k. 8k cubed is equal to k. Now, you don't want to cancel out any factors here, even though it's tempting, because you will be losing some solutions. So what I'd like to do, though, is put everything on the same side and set it equal to 0. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. So I'm going to take out the k, and that's going to give me... 8k squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Obviously, we get two types of solutions from here, one of which is k equals 0. Now, what is that supposed to mean? It means that if k is 0, then x is going to be 0, y is going to be 0, and z is going to be 0. So that gives us one ordered triple. Okay, cool. What about the second part? The second part comes from the difference of two squares, but you don't have to write it that way. You can just go ahead and set it equal to zero and solve for k. So this is going to give me 8k squared is equal to 1 and k squared is equal to 1 eighth. Now, so I'm supposed to square root both sides and what's the square root of 8? It is 1 over, uh, well, the square root of 8 is 2 root 2. So we can write it as 1 over 2 root 2, but you don't want to leave it like that. Go ahead and rationalize the denominator. And from here, you're going to get root 2 over 4. So that's another k value that I'll be using. And this is going to imply that x is equal to root 2 over 4, y is equal to root 2 over 4, and z is equal to root 2 over 4. So we basically get like two ordered triples of solutions. And those are the only real solutions because the other factor, again, did not give us anything meaningful. All right. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.